and welcome to Bella Jaws. Today, I'll be drawing a cute fox. So let's jump straight in. I will be using a Sharpie, but you can use any black markers. So we're going to start off using the shape of its head. So we're going to start off at the ear. Do a little line, but for the top it's going to be a bit sharp, a bit of a bump. We're going to go straight into the cheek, just a bit pointed, and go in like that. Now finish off the ear, bring it down, and do another line. And do an ear behind it. Now, you're going to go around, but you're going to have one metal line here. It's going to go up over cheek. And I'm going to get it in and do a big line. Now we're going to continue from here with the body. I'm going to do a line like that. That's going to go into the tail. It's going to be a bit pointed, but a bit round at the top. I'm going to do a bit like it's a drop of some slime. So you do a little wavy line. And you bring it back in into the hind leg like this. And then you're going to draw another line here. And add a little bump here. Remember, you can pause the video anytime you would like to catch up. I'm going to keep on going. So I'm going to add little lines for the paw. But the hind leg. Does the hind leg add a curve to give the effect of the limb? Now I'm going to continue with the belly. And do two lines. And do another paw here with some little lines for the paws. But we're going to put the lines at the top of each paw where we can colour them in black later. Just it's like they're wearing socks. So now I'm going to go into the belly and it's a bit furry, so you can add a little zigzag so you go out. And in, then out, then in. Go back into the cheek. Here. But bring this out. Here. But if you want to, you can make the line a bit longer. Give the effect of the neck. I'm going to still keep the tail circle for the nose, but a fox doesn't have two paws, it has four. So we're going to add a wavy line here, with another wavy straight line there, and do another cross for the paw line, and do that. And not the same thing, little lines, like for the in-between of the paws, like the in-between of our fingers. Now, I'm going to add another paw here, in this little missing space, and do a little bump for where the paw is going behind its leg. And some little lines. 
Now, if your fox looks a bit like it's in a diagonal line, then you can add a little rock. If you want to catch up, then you can pause it at any time. Want? And I'll be nice if the fox is excited. Do a little curved lines. The back line going out and these going in. So it could be a V, but with just the sharp bit missing. Little diagonal lines with a curve. And then we're going to draw inside of the little cute circle, call them in the back. Right now, the fox is standing on the rock, but all we need now to colour it. I'm using some crayons today. I'm going to start off with an orange. Now with the orange, I'm going to colour in everything. Except from the belly and this bit here. Compose the video while you colour. Mix everything good properly. But if you leave little white bits, then that's fine. You can just go over it later. you go over the line that's okay but the important thing is just to have fun with your drawing but the hind legs they could have a little shadow because this leg's in front of it this one's at the back so you can use a darker one just to go over that little bit around the outside just a little pull and fade it up into the actual orange. Now for the paws, you can use a grey or a black just to colour it in. Or you could even use a silver. Or if you don't have any of that, then you can just use your Sharpie. Right, now, I bet you're looking better than mine already. Now, with the rock, I'm going to use this metallic marker that I got from Hobbycraft in a pack. And it's like this green. I'm using some like an upside down V with another curve line in the middle just to make little tufts of moss or grass or whatever you want it to be. And even if you wanted, you could add some more details like on it a little flower, a little weed, like that. Right now, I hope you've enjoyed drawing with me. And see you next time on Bella Draws.